So I, I have very little um, um, knowledge of our industry partners, and I think many GPs are in my position. We have very little knowledge of it. So I think my one thing would be like, I should probably be more curious and, and I'm sure industry partners do try and keep getting that that knock back. But, you know, keep keep trying, because I don't think there's ever been a time where I've noticed either I'm growing and seeing more gaps or mm. but I believe there are more gaps now. Yeah. I, I, th I think there are more. gaps. So 10 years ago, I wouldn't have said, actually, I think we really need to make something for people who've got musculoskeletal problems who we know are not going to get their elected knee hip operation for over two okay. years they need some care what is that yeah. that doesn't need to be going to hospital or seeing a physio all the time but they need some just to chivy them along so we've yeah. got more gaps in healthcare in in a way we need to provide which we just didn't have that gap before and the nhs can't fix that at the moment yeah. is there something we can do with industry for that and yeah. a lot of doesn't have to be really medical I mean just yes. the idea of somebody acknowledging that it's really hard being on a waiting list for two years and not going to work and not getting the same pay and looking yeah. after your family just having someone even to cheerlead for you is yeah. psychologically and physically it, it reduces physical pain so yeah. you know just yeah. just things like yeah. that where I feel there's so many opportunities because the NHS is so struggling at the moment yeah how do we make that connection i guess it's um talking to and i know every gp says i'm too busy to talk to you but again some ideas on where are there some gaps um and you know it would actually help the, the gp it would help the care of their patients which is i yeah. think most GPs want to achieve that